Alright guys, today we're going to be going through the Organize and Invade tutorial in Brigandine Legend of, of Runergia. Uh, really excited for this. Um, I do know a little bit about the game since I did play the original on the PlayStation 1. Um, I, I played for a few minutes regularly and it does feel obviously similar with some quality of life improvements which is really nice. Um, yeah, super, super excited about this. Let's. I, I just kind of want to go through all the different tutorials so that we, I know, um, anything that has been added or changed. So I'm not like trying to mess around, you know, when I'm playing the real game. Organize and invade. Welcome to the world of Brigandine. Yes. Controls. Troop organization is step necessary for an enemy base invasion. First, confirm that Rubino and Chisler's troops are stationed in Lorenz. Next, check the base information for Warren and check the enemy target for your invasion. The key information to note here is the total combat power displayed above the target base. The total combat power indicates the sum of the combat power of all the enemy troops stationed at the base. Generally, the base with a bigger number will have the advantage. Currently, your total combat power is higher than the enemy's, but let's increase this number to ensure victory. Specifically, we'll be adding monsters to Ru Rubino's troop. Open the base menu with the A button. Alright. Select the troop command. Okay. So we'll move units, click units, and then we're going to move this level 1 cost 40 from the right. The unicorn from the standby menu and add it to the troop. So let's took up. Look at magic pool and magic cost. This is the number that indicates the limit of combined magic pool of the monsters in Runite's troop. Each knight's magic pool is different and increases with their level. Up to six monsters can be placed into a troop as long as their combined magic cost does not exceed the total magic pool. Take a look at the combined magic cost of the monsters in Rubino's troop. Notice that his magic pool is 215. But he's currently only using 155, so he has 60 remaining. Now let's look at magic cost. This refers to the magic cost unit required to place a monster into a troop. So 40, right? So since he has 60, 40 fits into 60, so it looks like he can fit there. Okay. And then we can move. You just click it. Oh, look at the stats. Most of the values here are stats like HP, MP, or attack, all of which affect the unit's combat power. To get a basic idea of a unicorn's strength, look at its combat power. So, CP. Alright. Add you to the troop. Welcome. It's now in the troop. You c Wait, hold on. While the unicorn is in Ruby, as you can see that his true combat power has gone up while the magic pool available for use left has gone down. Well, yes. Clearly that makes sense, right? You can know how you can have six and you have a certain magic pool to make sure that it fits. Okay, let's, let's go to the attack phase. And let's attack. You can only attack an enemy base that is adjacent to one of your bases. So look at the lines on the map. Attack. Attack. I just want to attack, guys. We will need to select Rubino and Shizzler. Okay, our button again. Select both of them. Cool. Press the A button to confirm your selection. Okay, we're attacking Warren. The only base connected to Lorenz is Warren. So the target base has been auto-selected for you this time. Press the A button. Okay. An arrow. Oh, similar to when you're moving, it has that same arrow. Awesome, we're ready to invade now. Tutorial complete. Organize and invade. Nope. I will do that in the next one. And uh, thanks for watching. See you there.